Hello, my little learners. Let's remember together what is the name of our theme for this month. It's called How We Organize Ourselves. The central idea for this theme is Communities make an effort to create transportation systems that meet humans' diverse needs. Let's have a look on the lines of inquiry for this theme and remember them together. Types of transportation, importance of a transportation system in a community, and how to operate and manage transportation system. The key concepts for this theme are form, function, and position. The related concepts are system, network, and movement. Let's embark on an exciting journey to explore the wonderful world of transportation. Transportation refers to the movement of people or animals or things from one place to another. It involves the use of various moods. Let's discover how people traveled in the past and how we travel now. Long ago, people didn't have cars or buses. They traveled on foot or used animals like horses and camels. Boats were also important for traveling across rivers and seas. Now we have many fast and convenient ways to travel. Cars, buses, and trains help us go from place to place on land. And airplanes help us fly high in the sky, reaching places really quickly. In this week, we need to discuss the importance of transportation, my little learners. Transportation is important because it helps us visit new places, meet new people, and learn new things. It also helps carry food and other goods to different places, making sure everyone gets what they need. Transportation is important for emergency vehicles like ambulances, fire trucks, and police cars to reach people quickly when they need help. And absolutely, that you all need the transportation to visit your family members, your grandparents. Thank you, my little learners, for listening. See you next week.